let's take a look at how Visual Studio 2013 and Web Essentials can help us write uh, valid Bootstrap and Font Awesome. Um, so one of the issues with uh, with Bootstrap can be sometimes to remember uh, which class names to use together with other class names. So here's an example. So let's add a Bootstrap class name here, button primary. You can see just using it by itself, uh, we now get this error here. You see the green squiggly. And it says, when using button primary, you must also specify the class button or BTN. So this is just one of those things where you kind of have to know this about Bootstrap. So basically add BTN and we can see here the error now goes away. So that catches a lot of these uh, errors. And we can do the same for Font Awesome. So Font Awesome is a way for us to uh, get a lot of icons um, on our web page here. And uh, let's get an icon of a pencil, FA-Pencil. And we can see we also here we get uh, an error saying, hey, FA Pencil, you must also specify the class name FA. So the same rule applies to Font Awesome. And so if we just add FA, we can see the error now goes away. So hopefully, um, if you're getting started with Bootstrap or with Font Awesome, uh, this is going to help you getting started. Thanks for watching.